I'm engineer Dr. Henry Ntale Kayondo, uh, Dean Faculty of Engineering and Survey, Ndeje University. I'm pleased to lead this faculty within this institution. Right now, we are the largest undergraduate engineering uh, faculty in the country. We have about 2,000 students uh, spread across um, a spectrum of uh, engineering courses. So we have four departments within the faculty of engineering and survey. That is uh, electrical, civil engineering, uh, mechanical engineering, and surveying. And uh, for our first year, we have three semesters. We have semester one, we have studied for uh, six course units. We have semester two, where they study seven course units, and we have our, what we call the recess semester. And here we teach students uh, the mode of workshop and vocational training. Practically such that by the time they go to second year, they have had ample exposure to each of these sub-disciplines. And probably they would have made up their mind what suits them, what suits their interests better. My name is Davis Lakisa. I am the leader of this group and we are doing Plan B. This is the module that we're handling today and the topic is irrigation. Now, in the case that we have today, we are looking at a simple system of how we can irrigate a piece of land. So care has to be taken before you irrigate is that one, proper site assessment has to be done and one has to know uh, the water source where he's going to get the irrigating water from. Uh, my name is uh, Mark Owen Mugaba. I am the group leader of uh, this group. All of us have uh, learned how to install a sitting toilet and the squatting toilet and the necessary precautions that we are supposed to take while installing the sitting and uh, squatting toilet. This is group B and uh, this group B was divided into three groups and our group majorly dealt with metering Metering is where we install water dome. And basically, as you see my colleagues, some of them, they have already installed some of the taps. Hello, uh, my name is Mutale Titus Senavulia. I am the leader for Group C. Nasuna Kayondo Gatra. I'm the mechanical technician, as well as the head of section, welding and metal fabrication. Everything has been, has been well, yeah. I've learned how to weld the, the wheelbarrow. We've done some windows, some windows in there, a four window, 22, 22 and a 40 by 140, 10 meters, a window. So we are, we are projecting to do some doorways. Uh, right now we are having the recess and they are doing welding and metal fabrication. As you're seeing them, they are working on the windows whereby we train them right from scratch and they have to know the joints, what is involved in two welding, fabrication, uh, the safety, so yes, it has been a, a lovely experience here at the welding and fabrication unit and I hope to see more as I continue for this research. Thank you very much. So my name is Nankasita Patricia. Um, I'm the coordinator group H during this research program. So we are doing carpentry and joinery. And in carpentry and joinery we've learned how to do door frames, shutters, and some stools. So in that, we learn how to, how to do units. In those units, we have door frames, door shutters. My name is Margaret Rukaya. 
I work in the civil lab as a technician. Yeah, my name is Ahewa Samuel. Uh, I'm the group leader of this group we are seeing right here. Here we are doing block making. We are teaching the students how to make blocks using the mixes that we have. We have cement and then we have sand and we have stone dust. We have learned a lot of things including making blocks and those blocks are of dimension 400 that is the length, 150 that is the width and 200 that is the height. So we try to tell them what the, the proportions that we use like in one bag of cement, we put in two boxes of sand and then eight boxes of stone dust. And the procedure we passed through was a simple one. We had to use a ratio of one, two to eight, where one, one is the ratio of cement and then two is the ratio of fine aggregate. Then eight is the ratio of coarse aggregate. So we prepare them, we tell them how to mix them and then we start making them using our, our what our modes, as you are seeing. My name is Makindu Conrad, group leader of the surveying group, this group. Today we are doing traversing. Well, traversing, we can use it for many activities like extending control points, determining coordinates of a certain point, a given point, let's say where I'm standing. But today, we're going to work on a point which is the other side. It's a known point. It's a, it's, NGD 07, and we are standing at NGD, NGD, NGD 2405. As you can see, all the, all the controls are labeled. When you, you find the label on top of the control, right there we are standing at 05, we are going to orient to 07. The, the, the goal is to find the bearing. I'm Isalule, the team leader group F and we are doing electricity. My name is Mbabari Frank, the trainer in electrical department. Uh, basically today we have seen the solar system installation. Electricity model is divided into different sub-modules. We have got a socket installation. We have got light circuits and then the solar system installation. So we have, we have been equipping the student on how to do the installation of the solar. If at all you don't have the, the hydro power plant or the hydro power. So this is the system that comes in to give us the power. I'm your engineer Oliver Nalubowa, technician, civil laboratory of Indeja University. My name is Vince Kafilmon. Group D leader doing mechanical engineering. Uh, good evening, everyone. I am Derek Basarike and group leader for uh, Group D. So, in this module of paving and landscaping, we have learned how to make pavers. Uh, like as you see, my fellows are making the pavers. Then we also did some asphalt today, some portion there a bit. So today we've been doing tarmacking, and we learned that there various materials that we use for tarmacking. So first we have the tar or the bitumen that we use as a binder. Then we have like the normal soil or like the murram that we first put as a base. Then we also have like the aggregates that we also add. And uh, we've been assigned the law in this research training. One of the laws that have been assigned is the compound and the landscaping where we are taking our students through through different types of uh, modifying the compound. One we've, select, we've been assigned to beautify our compound, one with the paving using the asphalt mix designs, asphalt, and two using the pavement. We have taught them how to, how we have given them the necessary skills. My name is Mugandi Moses, and I am an instructor uh, heading automotive module. Uh, automotive, mo automotive module is part of the modules that was selected to train the students. And we, right now, uh, when you talk of automotive module, it is a bit general, but we are specifying uh, the, uh, on motor vehicle maintenance and repair. So my name is Mukasa Eldad. 
I'm the group leader of uh, Group G, and we are doing uh, we are doing automotive engineering. So what we are doing now is uh, we first of all disassemble this engine. Now we are putting it back. But when, after we did the dis disassembling, uh, we did cleaning of the different components, the pistons. We studied about them. We got to know each and every function of each component. Uh, now what we are trying to do is to assemble it again. Particularly today we are learning about the engine, the different components and how it works. So right now my group mates and I, we are fixing the pistons into the cylinders where they are supposed to rest and we are using all the different tools and requirements that we need for today's job. Uh, we are from dismantling and assembling of the engine. Right now, now we are on adjustment and repairing of brakes. My name is Phil John Mamea, I'm an engineer in making. Now what we are here doing specifically, we are, we are here on braking system of a motor vehicle. Now the, the braking system we're working on here, the one you are seeing here, uh, is the rear wheel braking system. As you're seeing, the, the rest of the students are working on the front wheel. My name is Anachi Toy I've been handling these students. Uh, I'm handling these students in electronics. So this is group E under sub-module electronics. Electronics majorly it deals with the electron flow through conductors like semiconductors, vacuum, and gases. Uh, we have had a lot of students, and I'm handling these students, um, uh, giving them the basics of how we can do, how we can deal with electronic components. So, first of all, we saw some electrical components that comprise of fuses, resistors, transistors, capacitors. In these circuits that uh, we covered, we covered rectification, where there is change of AC to DC. Uh, an example of a copper board or a fixed one, so they, they move from this temporary one to this fixed one. So the skill of constructing this and getting, obtaining how we are coming to these circuits, they have already acquired them. So that's it. Thank you very much. Once again, my name is Mutale Titus. We are here at the Arena of Visions, Deja University. Right behind me, we are having the Kambuzi Tournament. Kambuzi tournament. This is a tournament that has been going on for the whole recess period. It's there to help students, you know, exercise after their long modules, people have been paving, people have been welding, you understand? So they come to the pitch here to socialize, you know, blow off some steam. Eh? So right after this, we have we've been, we've been having this for like four weeks at the four weeks now. We have more four weeks for this tournament. Yes, uh, right after the tournament, we have movie nights, movie nights every Friday for the students to chill to relax. Eh? We have uh, some people who are doing projects right now. We have uh, students that are pursuing a grant, a grant from the UK. They're doing projects. So this is a, this is a kind of time for people to do some personal, some personal embodiment, you understand? Personally, I hit the gym after this, you know, blow, uh, you know, get some bench pressing, eh? you understand? So yeah, we have basketball, we have handball, we have volleyball. Right now this is football, but uh, yeah, I hope you can, if you can come today, you can see all these things happening. So yeah, I, that's what I have for you today. Have a good night. Uh, we welcome all parents, students, both in Uganda and also outside Uganda, to bring their students or their children to the university for quality practical uh, education.